Here we are at the Vancouver Olympic Center site of the next event, the final event of day four, rather. It's the second round of the group stage for the curling event. And boy, we got a good one in store for you here tonight. We've already had a finals already done in the speed skating event, but here we are, second round of the group stage. It's Team Sonic and Team Tails who are going to be going at it tonight. Should be an interesting match. And we're ready to get underway here for the first end, the first throw. Team Sonic to throw here to start out. But just a little bit of a recap for both these teams. So Team Sonic, they came they came down to the final throw against Team Luigi. They were able to win that one, though, 8-7 to seven in their first uh, game for, for the curling event. Team Tails, however, came out on the losing end, falling... Falling to Team Mario by a score of 9-6. to six. Team Mario win, was in control for a good portion of that game. However, towards the end, rather, I should say, Team Tails did get out to a fast start, but they were unable to uh, hold on to their lead. So right now, we'll get ready to see Tails throw the first stone for his team right now. As Blaze gets ready to call this one out. Tails with the throw, he's going to try to start on the left side and try to curve it in. That's kind of been the strategy of most of these teams in this event. Vector and Silver scrubbing and trying to they get a pretty good throw. It lines it up right behind the blocker stone pretty much, and already Team Tails has a good throw to start out, so we'll see how Sonic uh, counteracts this. Knuckles will be throwing it, so we'll see what We'll see what kind of approach he has here. But also to, to go back to the first group stage matches for both these teams, Shadow with a very clutch throw at the end of the their game against, uh, against Team Luigi to pull off that win. So we've already seen some pretty good performances in these Winter World Championships. Even in the curling event, we've seen some pretty good performances as well. So Vector will get ready to throw here for Team Tails. As right now, Vector will throw it and... Looks like he's going to try to, the way he's aiming that one, that one's going to try to deflect off of the Team Sonic's, or yeah, Team Sonic Stone, but oh, wow, that was, that was not hit with enough power, and therefore Team Sonic still has the, uh, the one closest to the center right now. Knuckles will call here, we'll see what he's got in store right now. Eggman getting ready to throw. And Sonic and Shadow sweeping the gold and silver medalists in the speed skating 500 meter event. As that one's actually got a good, good curve on it. Oh. And that throw actually backfires. That's, that actually knocks a Team Tails stone closer to the center here. So right now, Team Tails with Silver to throw have a decision here to make early on in this game. Let's see if uh, they can capitalize here off the mistake from Team Sonic, Eggman in particular. Silver throws with Blaze and Tails sweeping here. And looks like, oh, that one, they do knock their stone closest, but they didn't, they weren't able to really knock into the uh, Team Sonic redstone that was closest 
for them. So now we're on to the fourth throw already of the first end, and it's Shadow. Shadow has been unbelievable in these first couple of events here for these Winter World Championships. He's had a great preliminary round. He's had a great performance in the hockey event. He scored th scored a hat trick. And right now he's got his team in the second second game of the group stages. Has a chance to really put his team in good position here as he knocks into that stone. Let's see what the how close they are. Knocks it out of the ring completely. He's got two in scoring position. And now this comes down to the final throw now of the first end for Team Tails. Blaze will be throwing with Vector and Tail sweeping. Blaze throws it. We'll see what Vector and Tail's not really, oh, not really being aggressive here. Does it have enough speed? That one. It did have enough speed. It knocks into the stone and it will score. So just like their first group stage game, Tails takes an early lead one to nothing as we head into the second end of this event. So Tails will get the first throw of end number two here, leading one to nothing. And he will He'll definitely throw it short here to set up a blocker stone for for his team in the second end here. And that's a pretty good blocker stone that he set up there. So now S Team Sonic will get their first throw of the second end here. Now Sonic will start on the left-hand side here of the ring and will try to curve this one in. That's kind of been the strategy for all these teams so far. And right now, Sonic throws it, but it doesn't really have a lot of power on it, but it is going to get enough spin on it just to, just to get into the white area of the ring, just below the... The red area in the center as Tails gets ready for the second throw, Team Tails rather. We'll get to see Vector with the throw here. Much like Knuckles on Team Sonic, power guy, so he can he can really disrupt any sort of uh, strategy that Team Sonic might have in store here. Silver and Blaze will be sweeping here. And scrubbing, 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 and that's Knocks into the stone there. We'll see where it... Okay, interesting. Interesting positioning there. Now Team Sonic will get ready for their approach. T Knuckles to throw, so just like Vector could really disrupt Team Tails' strategy here. As right now, Eggman and Shadow sweeping that one. Is that one going to knock into the yellow one? It does, and that's another backfire for Team Sonic. That's another bad throw. And it didn't knock into the stone with enough power. So right now, Team Tails has the, their, their stone closest to center. As right now, Silver gets ready for his throw. The third throw here of the second end. He'll set this one up. He's going to go right down the middle here. Blaze and Tails sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Does it have enough power to get into the... to get closest? Oh, wow. It did. That was beautiful. That was a perfectly placed stone. Just enough power. And they got a blocker. They got two blockers pretty much for that stone. And right now, Eggman and Team Sonic are going to have to find a way to disrupt this right now as Team Tails 
early on in this game having a bunch of really good and accurate throws as now Eggman will set this one send this one on the right side of the ring here and we'll try to curve this one in Shadow and Sonic sweeping and knocks into it and that's not going to be enough power is that's going to keep that's not that's going to knock one of T Teen Tails of Stones out but one still remains closer to the center here And now, Blaze will send the last stone for Teen Tails here in this second end. This one going, just gonna, it's gonna slide past their original blocker stone. Can it get close enough? Oh wow, what a throw by Blaze. As that knocks into a couple but keeps them close to the center, that's now three stones near the center. And Team Sonic has a big throw coming up here. You don't want to get down by more than two here. And right now they're in for this throw coming up. They're in with Shadow. They're going to be in a little bit of damage limitation mode here. Just to kind of just to kind of see how they approach it here. Shadow to send it down now. Sonic and Knuckles sweeping. And they're sweeping hard. They're going to try to get the most amount of power into this one. Does Shadow have a good throw up his sleeve here? No, he doesn't. He knocks one of their own stones out, and that's going to score three. So Team Tails takes a 4-0 lead after two ends. And it's a dream start, but Team Tails has been here before. They took a they took a lead against Team Mario, and if you remember, they lost that one. But a dream start here for this curling event for Team Tails. Up four to nothing. Tails is gonna send this one straight ahead. Looks like it's gonna be a blocker stone as well. So we'll see what we'll see how they approach their second throw. That's pretty good. With throw number one coming up now, let's see if how Team Sonic approaches. They're gonna start, they're gonna go on the right hand side now, Sonic to throw here. And man, do they need they need some sort of score here in this end if they're gonna if they don't want to get left in the dust here. So Sonic throws it from the Right hand side. He's got enough. He's got a good amount of spin on it, but is it going to be enough? Knuckles and Eggman sweeping. That one curving, curving. Okay, it had a decent amount of spin on it to get somewhat close to center. It's not behind the blocker stone that Tails had set up for his team as we get ready for the second throw now for Team Tails. So Vector right now to set it up. Not going to put a whole lot of power on it. We haven't really seen a lot of power throws out of uh, the power characters in this event. But right now, Silver and Blaze sweeping. That one's going to knock into the redstone, and we'll see. That one's going to be closer. It's not really behind the blocker stone that Tails threw earlier, but it does knock the... Team Sonic Stone out of position as right now Team Sonic will get ready for their second throw of the third end here. Knuckles will be throwing here. Going to go on the left hand side and he's going to try to curve this one in. Eggman and Shadow sweeping. And Knuckles not really able to put a lot of spin on that. That one is going to it's going to sail into the uh, red area. It will be closer, but he didn't really put enough spin on it to bring it behind the blocker stone or behind the other stone that Tails had thrown earlier, Team Tails had thrown earlier, as right now that sets up a pretty good spot now for Silver to throw. 
And I think it's pretty obvious what the strategy is going to be here. As Silver will probably be aiming directly for that Team Sonic Stone that's closest. He will be. Tails and Blaze sweeping. They're trying to put the most amount of power on it. Sweeping hard. Not the most powerful throw, but it does get hit. It does knock the Team Sonic Stone out of the red area and will put them closest. But because that stone is in pretty much the exact same spot, Eggman has a chance here to put his team... to have them potentially have two stones closest to the center going into the final throws of this end as Sonic and Shadow will sweep. They're sweeping hard for this one. As that knocks into the yellow stone, that one is gonna... That's gonna bring them two. That's got them two closest. So right now, if your team tails, what do you do here? Oh. Okay, they're going to try to go straight ahead here, it looks like. Blaze to set it up. Tails and Vector sweeping. I guess they're looking for a lot of power here. That one... Oh! Didn't have a... Didn't angle it just enough, and... Just like that, Team Sonic's got two stones closest to the center, and they're going to the last stone here. And... Right now... Team Sonic... We'll see how they approach this one. Shadow with a big throw here. There's a possibility that they might get four points in this end here and tie the game right up. Shadow's going to put all his power in this one. Sonic and Knuckles sweeping as hard as they can. Can they get something out of it? It's They knock into one stone. That's going to knock it out of the ring entirely. And that's going to score them two. So they cut the lead in half. It's four to two heading into end number four with Team Sonic getting the first throw. If Team Sonic can manage to win this game, it, it would be huge because it would it would mean that they could possibly lock up a spot already in the gold medal match if Team Mario does beat Team Luigi to, on Wednesday. So there's a possibility there. There's a possibility that the... Uh, the medal round matches may already be decided as Team Sonic will set up a blocker stone and pretty good throw. Just barely got it over the line, but that's exactly what you want. Cut the angle off as now Team Tails will get ready for their throw. Yep, they're going to aim on the left-hand side here. So Tails will get ready for his throw. Vector and Silver will be sweeping. This one's going to start on the outside. He got, he's got some spin on it. Vector and Silver sweeping hard. Can this one set it up behind the blocker stone? Almost, but they got it closest to the center right now. So through the first throw for both teams in this end, Tails has got the closest one right now. So right now, Knuckles will get ready for the second throw for Team Sonic. Vector and Shadow sweeping. He's going to start on the right-hand side. He's got to be a little bit careful with his power if he's going to line this one up. This one moving, moving. It's going to knock into a Team Tail Stone, but it's not going to knock it out of position as it still remains the closest as we get ready for throw number two from Team Tails.
So Vector now will get ready to throw here. And we'll see what we have in store here for us. Second throw. And Vector doesn't really put a lot of spin on this. I guess he's just trying to get close as that one is going to nudge right into their own stone but it's going to stay in position and they'll we'll be they'll have two closest now so now we'll get ready to see how team tails approaches their third throw of the end here or team sonic rather sorry uh team sonic here eggman will get ready for this one So Eggman going to just aim right for those two stones from Team Tails. He knocks into both. Are they going to be pushed out of position? One of them is. But one will still remain in position. So we had to throw number three now for Team Tails. Silver will get ready to throw here. And what do you want to do here if you're Team Tails? I think they're going to... They're going to play a little bit aggressive, it looks like. So Silver will set it up here. Throw a number three. So each team will have one more throw this end. But tail, Team Tails leading four to two. After getting a pretty good start early on. As Silver knocks into oh, both... Yeah. Team Sonic stones, and that's going to bring them two closest as we head now to the last stone for Team Sonic and company. Shadow will be ready to throw this one, and he's had a bunch of big throws, and he's got another one on his plate here. And he's... Team Sonic making a... have a very tough decision here if they're gonna where they want to place this shadow's got to be very accurate here if he's gonna try to save this end and try to keep them from going down by at least three you don't want that to happen shadows throw goes and that's gonna knock into one of the team tail stones but it's not gonna knock all of them out as Team Tails now still has a uh, stone closest to the center. So maybe do you throw this stone away? I think maybe you might want to decide on doing that simply because it would put you up by three. Blaze is going to set it up here. Blaze is going to start on the left-hand side and try to curve this one in. They are actually going to go for points here. Tails and Vector sweeping. This one has a amount, good amount of spin on it. The only question is, does it have enough power to get into, to slide into where it wants to go? Right now, that's sliding, sliding, sliding. Blaze with a beautiful throw. And that's going to score two. So now, Team Tails goes up six to two after four ends in this game. And we head to end number five with Team Tails getting ready to kick this one off for us. So a beautiful start for for Team Tails. It's just been a dream start for them. But remember, they they weren't able to hold on to their lead last time against uh, Team Mario. So we'll see what they can do here. And Tails isn't going to set up a blocker stone here, it looks like. No. He's going right for the center. So Tails sets up one right there, dead center almost. And Team Sonic now will get ready for their first throw of the end. So Sonic will get ready for this one. And they're going to go right for Team Tails and their stone, their first throw. That's So they're playing aggressive this end. And this is why you want to set up your blocker stones because then both teams are just going to play aggressive this end. But through four ends... Team Tails has six six points already. 
but Sonic throws this one a little short, so they got a blocker in front. They got a backstop, so just in case they run into their own stone, we'll see what uh, Team Tails can come up with here. Vector to throw. And if I was Vector, I'd put a little bit of power in this one just to see if you can have enough power on the hit to just knock it out of the out of the ring entirely and keep yours in position. Silver and Blaze right now sweeping moderately. This one knocks into the Team Sonic Zone. It's not going to knock it out of the ring. It still keeps Team Tails and their stone closest to the center. So right now with throw number two coming up for Team Sonic and Co., We'll see what they do here. Knuckles gets ready for his throw. Knuckles ready to throw this one. And he's got a pretty good, okay, pretty good so far. That one's sliding. That one's going to get... It's going to get close, but it's not going to have enough power to knock Team Tails out of position. So right now, they have the closest stone. Right now, currently, all four stones that have been thrown are in the ring. But we'll see how they handle it here. Silver gets ready to throw his stone. And this has kind of been an aggressive end to see here because there's no blocker stone. There hasn't been real much strategy employed here. It's just kind of been aggressive for both teams. And... I don't blame Team Sonic for wanting to play aggressive here. You're down by four. You need to turn the game around somehow. As Silver's throw knocks into a Team Sonic stone. It doesn't knock it out of the ring entirely. but And so Team Tail still has one in position. So Eggman now has a big throw here, and number five. They're down by four. They're going to have to turn it around somehow. Eggman throws this one. Both are sweeping. Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. They're not able to really knock Tails out of position. That backstop is able to keep their Yellowstone in position. So right now the last stone here for N number five for Team Tails. And now Blaze has a big throw here and a big decision to make. And Blaze is going to aim this one just to the left of the center here. It looks like they're going to be aiming for both the two uh, Team Sonic stones that are there. Tails and Vector sweeping. Can they get it closest? They knock into one. And only one is closer. So right now, a big throw coming up here for Team Sonic. Now, what will Shadow do? Shadow's already had a bunch of big throws so far in this event. And even in, in, in this game specifically. Now he's got probably the biggest throw of the game. You do not want to go down by five here. They're still deciding here what, what they want to do. I'm, I don't know what Team Sonic has planned as Shadow gets ready for his throw here. So right now, Shadow. He's going to send this one down. Knuckles and Sonic sweeping here. Let's see what they can get. This one going, going, going. It knocks into two stones. Is that going to put two closest? It will. It will score two. So right now, Team Sonic cuts the lead in half as we're at the halfway point of this game. It's six to four right now, and Team Sonic will get the first throw of N number six. Six to four, Team Tails leading here. As Sonic will send this one, looks like they're gonna set up a blocker stone here. Mm. 
Knuckles and Eggman staring at this one. That one going to cross the line. It's going to be a decent blocker stone to set up here. And now Team Tails will get their first throw of the sixth end here. And Blaze is going to call this one on the outside. So Tails is going to throw it from the right-hand side here of the ring. Silver and Vector ready to sweep. Tails has got a good amount of spin on it. We'll see if that they can slide that one right in front of, of the blocker stone that Team Sonic threw earlier. That's a really good throw. Gets it somewhat secluded behind the blocker stone that Team Sonic threw earlier as we get ready to see throw number two for Team Sonic. A lot at stake already here in this second game of the group stages for these two teams. Team Sonic trying to build off their win against Team Luigi last week. while Or not last week, geez, I took a little bit of a break from this. But trying to break, take a, build off their win against Team Luigi in the uh, prior game, in the first group stage match. While Team Tails trying to avenge their loss to Team Mario and get right back in the thick of things when it comes to... Uh, the hunt for the spot in the gold medal match. Remember, top two in the standings advance to the gold medal game, while the bottom two go to the bronze medal game. As Vector gets ready for his throw, the second throw for Team Tails in this event. Second throw for Team Tails in this end, pardon me. As this one is going to start on the left-hand side. Gonna, Vector doesn't really have a lot of spin on this one, as this one's going to kind of sail a little bit wide from its intended target. So, halfway already through the sixth end here as Team Sonic now has a interesting decision here to make. Eggman will get ready to throw here for throw number three for Team Sonic in this sixth end. So now Shadow and Sonic sweeping. We'll see how their what their approach is exactly to this. Eggman. He almost... Okay, well that wasn't really the best uh, throw there. That nearly... If he threw it too hard, it would have sailed right past both the intended stones. I don't know what he was trying to throw there. As Team Tails gets ready for their third throw of the end here up six to four if the results held however team sonic would still be ahead of team tails in the standings due to their uh due to their differential their point differential that one knocks into the blocker stone so a poor throw from silver so end number six has kind of been filled with poor throws as now Team Sonic will get ready for their for their fourth and final throw of the end. We'll see what Shadow can do here. So Shadow's got a a big opportunity here. He's gonna send this one straight down the middle of the lane here. Let's see how sweepers Sonic and Knuckles handle it and they gotta get the sweeping now. They're sweeping hard and Shadow doesn't put enough on it. Oh no! And Team Dales has one in scoring position and they get the final throw here. We'll see how they handle it. So Blaze now will get the final throw of end number six with the potential of maybe having two stones in scoring position and would put their score up to eight to four. Blaze sends it down the lane. Tails and Vector sweeping, trying to keep it at a decent pace here. 
That one sliding, sliding, sliding. How close? It's not close enough, but Team Tails does get one score in there. So with four ends left to go in this game, Team Tails leads seven to four. So a pretty good job overall there. So right now, Tails in end number seven here. We'll send it down the lane. Looks like it's going to be another blocker stone set up here. Vector and Silver sweeping, 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 sweeping. So now that we go to throw number one from Team Sonic here in the seventh end, they need a lot to turn around if they want to have a sh shot here at... A 7-4 game. Now Sonic will set it up here. Sonic sets it up. We'll throw it down the lane. He's got a, not a lot of spin on it. Knuckles and Eggman are sweeping, but it's gonna it's gonna get closer, but it's not in a great position. It puts it at very out in the very much out in the open for Team Tails to knock out of the ring entirely and put themselves in a good position here. Team Tails is gonna throw it from the other side though. They're not gonna play aggressive here. Even though you're up by three, I would consider playing aggressive to just limit Team Sonic's scoring to a minimum. But Tails is gonna throw it from or Vector rather is gonna throw it from the outside. They're gonna try to curve this one in. And much like a lot of power characters, Vector not going to really have a lot of spin to get this close. He won't. And right now, that's going to set it up for throw number two now for Team Sonic. So right now, that's thrown by Knuckles, and this one has a little bit of speed on it. Eggman and Shadow sweeping, and that one's going to get closer. Nox Team Tails' stone out of the way. So right now, they got two in scoring position. Even though they're only, even though they're down by three, one good end out of Team Sonic will make this a game again. So we'll see what Silver can do here for Team Tails. gonna send this one looks like he's sending it straight ahead sends it a little bit we'll see what the stone can do here as it knocks into a team sonic stone it's that gonna bring it closer it will bring it closer but it's too much out in the open I don't think that one's gonna last is throw number three is coming up now for team sonic Eggman will get ready to throw here. Yep, Eggman's going to get ready to throw it here. Gets ready to set it up. Sends it down the lane. We'll see if Shadow and Sonic can put enough uh, speed on this thing to knock it out of the way. And they're not able to. So that's another poor throw from Team Sonic as we head to the last stone now for both the for for both these teams as Blaze will get ready for throw number four of this seventh end. Team Tails holding on to a 7-4 lead after a great start through the first two ends. They've jumped up 4-0 early on. But a little bit of back and forth has kept this game within reach for Team Sonic. 
Dean Tails knocks into a stone there, and that one's, that's gonna put two closer. So now it's the last stone here for Team Sonic. What are they gonna do? Big throw coming up now for Shadow. Can he put Team Sonic back into this game? Down by three. Shadow's gonna send it. Knuckles and Sonic gonna be sweeping. They're putting a lot of power into this one. That one knocks into a couple of stones. Is that gonna bring Team Sonic closest? It will. So Shadow cuts the lead down to two as we head to the final three ends of this game. And number eight coming up, Team Sonic getting the first throw. So seven to five right now. And it's now, it's still anybody's game. Sonic gonna send it. This one's probably gonna be a blocker stone. It will be most likely. So three ends left, it's only a two point game right now for for Team Tails. And Team Sonic just needs one good end and they could get right, they could tie this game, they could even take the lead. Throw number one coming up now for Team Tails. Should be interesting to see what, what they do here. As looks like Blaze and Tails decide to go on the right hand side here. Tails is going to send it. Vector and Silver sweeping. Trying to set the tone here for end number eight. Vector and Silver sweeping hard, sweeping, sweeping, and it's going to slide near the center pretty much. And it's somewhat behind the blocker stone that Team Sonic threw earlier. So right now we'll see if Team Sonic can can respond here. Knuckles will set it up now and will throw here for throw number two for Team Sonic. Hasn't really done a great job on spinning those and curving those in, but there's not really any kind of mesh to knock into right now, so Knuckles Get some decent spin on it, actually. So one of the more decent throws out of him today. It's not going to be closer to the center, but it's a pretty good throw nonetheless. Now we get to see Team Tails with throw number two out of them. Vector getting ready for this one. So Vector sends this one. This one... Gonna try, he's gonna try to curve this one in. Oh wow, what a throw vector! He slides that one almost directly behind the blocker stone from Team Sonic, and now Team Sonic is in a pretty poor position after a really accurate throw from Vector. So beautiful job there. Now it's up to Eggman now for Team Sonic. Can he get them back into this end here and try to try to salvage something out of it? Because two great throws from Team Tails have put them in a very difficult position. Right now, that stone going by Eggman. Eggman sends it. That one knocks into one of their own. No! All right. And Team Tails still has the closer stone. As we go to throw number three here, Silver now gets ready for this one. So Silver getting ready for throw number three for Team Tails. Can he, I think you might want to work on setting up a defensive stone here. Set up a defensive position here to maybe try to salvage at least a point. Maybe even only surrender a point. But even surrendering a point would be a big deal. That one curves and it's... Yeah, no, that's not going to go anywhere. So, 
going to the last stone here for Team Sonic. So Shadow's going to have to show up once again and try to get a good throw here with end number eight. Trailing by two. Shadow going to send this one. Shadow sends it. This one's curving, curving, curving. It's hooking. He knocks into one of their own stones, and it's going to knock it right into position. So right now, the final throw for end number eight for Team Tails. We'll see what they have now. Blaze is going to have to come up with something here. Can she slide a stone? So right now, Team Sonic has a stone in scoring position here. And number eight here. The final throw, Blaze sends it. Tails and Vector sweeping. This one has a spin on it. This one hooking, this one curving. Blaze throws it and it's not gonna score it, nope. As it bangs into one of Team Sonic Stones and makes it seven to six and we got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the ninth end here, Team Sonic with the first throw. Sonic will get ready to send this one. Sends it and Eggman, they're going to set up a blocker stone here. They are only down by one right now. Team Sonic and Team Tails going back and forth, back and forth now. Tails trying not to surrender another lead in back-to-back -back group stage games. They've already suffered one at the hands of Team Mario. They don't want to have another one suffer here at the hands of Team Sonic. Trying to keep their gold medal match hopes alive. As Tails will get ready to send this one. Tails sends it. This one's going to be curving. This one has a good amount of spin on it. Vector and Silver sweeping, trying to get this one close to the center. They do get it near the center, and it gets it somewhat covered by the Team Mario Stone somewhat. So they do have a little bit of protection there. As now Team Sonic gets ready for their second throw of this ninth end here. So Knuckles now has a throw here. Could we be going could we be tied going into the final end of this game? Team Sonic did win on the final throw in their first group stage game against Team Luigi. Let's see how they handle themselves here. As Knuckles puts a little bit of spin on it, not a whole lot, but that one's gonna curve in nicely. Nailed it. And we'll get closer. So right now Team Sonic through two throws has the closest stone as throw number two is coming up now for Team Tails. Vector gets ready for his throw here. Getting ready for this one. Vector's going to send it. Sweeping our blaze and silver. They're looking more to... I think they're just trying to knock this one out of position. Tails. Looking on as that one's going to barely nudge into the Team Sonic stone and it's still going to remain closest as we go to throw number three now for Team Sonic. And now it's up to Eggman. Can he keep his team's hopes alive here? Big throw coming up. Going to start it on the left side. Going to send it. And right now, Eggman has a good amount of spin. This one curving, this one hooking. 
It doesn't have enough power on it. No, and it knocks into one of Team Tails' stones, and it's going to knock that one closer in. So another miscue by Team Sonic, and that actually puts a Team Tails stone in scoring position. So right now, Silver is going to get ready for his throw. Throw number three right now for Team Tails. I think they just want to get one closer here. See what they can do. Tails and Blaze sweeping. This one hooking. This one curving. And what a throw by Silver. Silver curves one right into a wonderful position, blocked perfectly. And right now, the final throw for end number nine for Team Sonic. It's up to Shadow now. Can he cause some mayhem here in the final in the final throw here? We'll see what he has in store here for us. Throws it. Sonic and Knuckles ready to sweep. They're sweeping hard right now. And it was desperation. And Shadow's Stone is going to sail wide and too far. As Team Tails has their stone closest. As we get ready to see the final throw here for end number nine. Apologies for that. And number nine. And right now, Blaze getting ready to throw this one. Blaze sends it. S Tails and Vector sweeping. Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. As they knock into one of Team Sonic's stones, but it's not going to matter here. As their stone still remains closest and they now make it eight to six going into the final end of this game still anybody's but team tails leads by two they will get the first throw here of the 10th end tails getting set for this one gonna set up a blocker stone most likely here Right now, that one's gonna slowly, slowly just put its way close to the ring, but not in. So that will be a uh, a blocker set up for Team Tail. So now throw number one for Team Sonic. Throw coming up here. Sonic going to send it on the left-hand side. Going to try to curve this one in. Knuckles and Eggman sweeping. They're, they're trying to keep, keep it moderate here. Let's see if keeps going, going, going. And it's going to... Okay. Not the best throw, but it's closest to the center so far as we get ready to see throw number two by Team Tails. Vector will get ready to set this one up. Each team has three more throws left. Vector will send it. This one. Vector has a pretty decent spin on this one. Silver and Blaze gonna sweep. Is this one curving? This one's curving into wonderful position. Oh my word, dead center, and it's set up perfectly by a blocker. Throw number two now coming up for Team Sonic. And we'll get to see how Knuckles handles himself. Can he do something with Vector? Can he do something similar to what Vector did? Well, we'll see here. Knuckles is going to send it here. Eggman and Shadow sweeping. Right now. Okay, both are not the best throw, as that's not going to get closer, as Team Tail still has the uh, 
closer uh, stone. So now throw number three now coming up for Team Tails. Silver's going to send it. Blaze and Tails. Blaze and Tails still... Uh, they sweep and... Okay, they... They still have the closer stone. So now throw number three coming up for Team Sonic. Right now, Eggman going to get ready to set it up here. And he's got a really good position here. If he can maybe knock that Team Tail Stone out of the way. Remember, they need to score two here, though, if they want to send it to uh, extra ends. Or score three, and they can win the game flat out. Sonic and Shadow sweeping. This one. Do they have enough power on it? I don't know if Eggman put enough power on it. No, he didn't. He knocks Tails' of stone closer. It's now dead center, and it's now got a bunch of coverage now. To We'll see now what uh, Team Tails can do here. Blaze now with the final throw for her team. I don't know what Blaze is doing here. She's going straight at it. And right now, Blaze, it knocks into one. So right now they got a stone in front of the other red stone from Team Sonic. And now it's up to Shadow now. Can he... Can he knock into two stones here? And I think it's pretty obvious what he's trying to do here. So it's now a big throw coming up. Can Team Sonic tie the game here? It's up to Shadow. Shadow had the game-winning throw against Team Luigi. Shadow. Throws it. He's got a lot of power. Knuckles and Sonic sweeping. Here it is. For the second game of the group stage, it's on the line here. Shadow throws it. This one is no. It's no good. It's going to knock away and it's going to sail wide. And Team Tails will score another point and win the game 9-6 to six to win their first game of this group stage and will put them in wonderful position now to get to the gold medal match. Wonderful job there by Team Tails. Nine to six is your final score. They are now at an even point differential. And with that, they move ahead of Team Sonic based on that point differential. And now they quite possibly control their own destiny. The next game in this event will be on Wednesday, it'll be between Team Mario and Team Luigi, brother versus brother. But what a performance there out of Team Tails. Got the lead and held on to it, and held on for a victory of 9-6. to six. What a performance there. Sorry for, uh, I have to also say sorry for the uh, pops and stuff. That was my mic stand. But what a, what a performance here for Day 4 at the Vancouver Olympic Center. Overall, great, but... What do we have left? We just have group stage games, and we have finals. So we'll see a bunch of medals get handed out, especially uh, for day five. So I'm really looking forward to that. But overall, great performance by both of these teams. Team Tails gets the victory and two points in the standings, while Team Sonic drops their first game of this event. And what a performance by both these teams. But... That's pretty much it for this uh, for this for this event and for day four. It was another exciting event of the Winter World Championships, and I can't wait to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next event. Take care. <laughs>